Now, uh, Donald Trump continues to be in hot water over his derogatory comments about Haitian and African countries. You know your president isn't going that well if one of your biggest accomplishments is getting NPR to say the word hole. <laughs> this morning, White House press secretary... <laughs> ...and vice principal reassessing her life choices... <laughs> ...Sarah Huckabee Sanders attempted to defend the president against charges of racism. Frankly, I think if the critics of the president were who he said he was, why did NBC give him a show for a decade on TV? I mean, she's got a point. NBC has always shown great judgment with their long-term employees. Just ask Bill Cosby and Matt Lauer. <laughs> Not racist. Not racist. Not racist. <laughs> Meanwhile, Trump's defenders in the GOP have been telling everyone he never said hole, and somehow came to the conclusion that the offensive part of that phrase was the word hole. <laughs> because yesterday, some Republicans were saying that they heard house rather than hole. Can you guess what hole they pulled that out of? <laughs> and hole. Fine family joke. Yeah, nice and today, some Republicans are saying house countries refer to poor countries with no plumbing, places where you have to walk out to the house, and therefore the phrase is not racist. Yes, of course! Ah, ah. Yes, who hasn't heard of the well known practice of describing a nation by its plumbing conditions? <laughs> by this scale, Japan is robot toilet country. France is, I thought that was the toilet, but then water squirted on my butt land. <laughs> Germany is... Let's not get into it. <laughs> There's a shelf and it's ridiculous. Now, Trump's comments were also the focus of today's Senate hearing for Secretary of Homeland Security and spare Chelsea handler, Kirsten Nelson. <laughs> Nielsen was in the room when Trump dropped the S-hole bomb, and so they asked her about it. You said on Fox News that the president used strong language. What was that strong language? Uh, let's see. The strong language there was... Uh, I, apologies. I don't remember specific word. Uh, what I was struck with, frankly, as I'm sure you were as well, was just the general uh, profanity that was used in the room by almost everyone. Uh, Did you hear me use profanity? No, sir. Would you like to? Because I've been holding on to it for about a year now. Senators then questioned why the president expressed preference for immigrants from Norway during the meeting. Norway is a predominantly white country, isn't it? I'm, I, I actually do not know that, sir, but I imagine that is the case. Really? Wow. You don't know about Norway? What the fjord are you talking about? <laughs> I will remind you. <laughs> I will remind you, your name is Kirsten Nielsen with a silent J. Really? <laughs> but Senator Lindsey Graham, some things up best. This has turned into a S show. Senator, you can just say the word. It's on a giant poster right next to you. Okay, Amanda, welcome to the intern program. You're going to be collating the reports on the proposed immigrant bill. Alan, you're holding a huge sign that says hole. <laughs> College credit. Then, like the good Southern gentleman he is, Senator Graham got nostalgic for the past. Tuesday, we had a president that I was proud to golf with, call my friend, who understood immigration had to be bipartisan. You had to have border security. It's essential you have border security with a wall, but he also understood the idea that we had to do it with compassion. Now, I don't know where that guy went. I want him back. Good point, Senator. You know who I miss? This guy. You know how you make America great again? Tell Donald Trump to go to hell.
I, uh, I don't know where that guy went, but I want him back. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight, everybody. John Bon Jovi is here. We want to return the latest crazy fad from Silicon Valley. Stick around. Wow, what a cliffhanger. What's going to happen in the next Late Show video? Click subscribe to find out.